been a string of gurus and Maharijis over the last few years who, according to their followers, have the one true message. Well, the latest to visit the eastern counties, 62-year-old Indian woman Sri Mataji, who lays claim to the title of India's greatest saint. But her brand of yoga doesn't only lead to a serenity that can transform people's lives. It even produces a cool, soothing wind out of thin air. A rather sceptical Julia Booth caught up with Sri Mataji in Cambridge. This man was a drug addict, his life in tatters at the mercy of LSD. He met Sri Mataji, learned her Sahaji Yoga, as it's called, in a few minutes, and now he's prosperous and happy. It isn't physical yoga, it's based around something called Kundalini, which is a sort of inner energy, which, when released, can apparently give you serenity and cure illnesses. The great Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi met her when she was a child. He recognized her gift and invited her to live and learn with his household. Her teachings follow no specific religion and are imparted in minutes. There's even physical proof. Apparently a cool breeze can be felt from the head when you're enlightened. It comes up here and pierces through this area called the fontanelle bone area and you start feeling a cool breeze coming out of your head. And that is the time we should say it's the real baptism because that's the time when you really feel the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost coming out of your head. And I gather that you have a cool breeze coming out of the top of your head all the time. Is that, is that correct? <laughs> I must be. I, I, may, I, may I feel it? Yes, all right. I can feel it. Yes, I can. But it's hard to know what... Oh, yes. Yes. It's definitely cooler up there. That's incredible. Is this something that I can do on my own now? Yes, now you can do it very easily. Now, how to raise your kundalini is very simple. You put your hand like this, I'll show you here. Now, you put your right hand, you have to take out your shoes, I'm sorry. Because the I mother earth... I to take my shoes off. That's better, because what? the mother earth is another element, which helps us a lot. Oh, right. All right? So we have to take help from every element. Because there's problem in the elements, that's why we have problems. All right. Now, what you have to do is to put this hand in front of the kundalini in a straightforward way. It's this thing difficult. And then this right hand has to, because this is the hand of action, this is the hand of desire. Now, you put this right hand like this, go on moving in a clockwise manner, take it up, make your neck a little loose, put this hand out, and just make a knot. One. Now, again, let's do now it's moving faster. If you see your hand itself is moving. Now take it up. Now again put it back. It's the second one. Now second. And what is this? Three doing? times. Now you see that. Now I'll show you. Now the three times you have to do the third one. You'll see the results of that. All your heat is going in the mother earth. Ha! Ah, now one is two. Well, I have to admit that the breeze eight, from my head and hands eight, was the nine, merest nine, flicker nine, compared with the almost gale force right which came from Sri Mataji white, herself. Now here's your chance, now. because this cool yeah, breeze can apparently be felt through a television set that, if you're that, particularly you sensitive. Yes, uh, if you can place your hands towards the television, you can feel the cool breeze quite easily because you are just there. The only thing you have to make a little breakthrough and the time of resurrection has come. This is the time of your judgment and it has to work out. It's a blossom time as I call it. Many are flowers and it has to work out. Now put your hands towards me and see that you feel the cool breeze in your hand. Do you feel the cool breeze? And do you feel the cool breeze on top of your head? You can feel it with your right hand or you can feel it with your left hand and this is the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost coming out of you and now you can feel it all around you. In a subtle way it is everywhere working but now you can feel it first time you can feel it. Sit down. Who else you have questions? Yeah. <coughs> I think yes, most of them a little bit. You see in Sahaja Yoga you are not given any mantra or anything. There is nothing like giving you into a big course, like teaching you one after another any mantra or anything. It's not like that. What you have to know, where the Kundalini is, how it is moved, where it is, what is the chakra catching and what is the mantra for that. It doesn't take anything, hardly takes about a week for you to understand the whole thing. But gradually as you start using it, you become proficient and you know how to do it for yourself and for others. There is not much of a 
thing like a child. When he comes up a little age, it starts picking up language because he has a built-in capacity to create sound and he does it. In the same way, once you get it, when you get the cool breeze in your hand, you learn it by using it. You understand it yourself. You become yourself uh, uh, quite proficient and you will be amazed how fast you learn this. You don't have to uh, learn it just like a science book or anything. Just start learning it that this is the chakra it is catching because now, say, for example, this chakra is catching. Right side. Now there's a mantra for all this is of Sri Krishna. Say, this chakra is catching. Here, then this is the mantra of Jesus Christ. Like that. You must know the mantras and the chakras, but the chakras you just know as a absolutely a knowledge which is built in your nerves. You just feel it. This is, now this gentleman is saying it's hot here. All right. What is that? Hot here means what? That the sahasrara at the left side. First he draws the sahasrara on the right side. Now on the left side is there. So that means there is a mantra for that. And that one must be used. If you use that mantra, this will be clear. All right? That is how you have to know. And that's why I said it takes time for people sometimes to establish because first you have to know it and then use it. Come along. Are you come for the first time? All right, come along. Come along with this side. So it is not a difficult thing. It is not at all a difficult thing to learn. It's very easy. You can pick it up in no time. As soon as you start using your hands on other people, please be seated. All right. Just see them, some people come along. Now these people say, who are the latest who have come to Sahaja Yoga? Let's say, the latest ones. Say, those who have come about a month back. See, he's, he came back, she came back only one month back. And... Was there on Monday? Monday. No, okay. He was there on Monday. Monday, all right. He's got it. But you see, have you been giving vibrations now? In one month it's done. So you can imagine. And you know about the chakras now? About the mantras? Yes. See? That's it. It's very simple. If you pay attention to it, you can do it much faster. There are many people who, who are here within a month, one month's time, they picked up so many things. Many within one month's time. It's all right. <coughs> because you become the knowledge. You start feeling it on your fingers, you know this is the chakra. If this finger is, say, burning, that means your left heart is catching. If your left heart is catching, then you know because it's burning. Then there's nothing to go to the books or anything to find out. It's just burning. It's there. Isn't it? That means the left heart is catching. Now only you have to know why when the <coughs> left heart is catching, the decoding only. What does that mean? Your hands will speak, Christ has said, all right? They will speak. I am just decoding it. Now you see for yourself it is true or not. What does that mean? Left heart means there's a problem on the heart. Maybe the person is over hard working. He has forgotten about his spirit. The mantra is you have to say, I am the spirit for left heart. It's so simple. Because you have forgotten about your spirit, you are more on the uh, right side in the sense you are more extra, you are a, an extrovert and more attention is outside, not towards your spirit. Left heart is good. You start understanding Sahaja Yoga so well when your vibrations are steady. Now this finger, this is catching. Now this is catching means the person has been to somebody who is unauthorized in spiritual life. Anything, say ESP, you call it EST, then you have got parapsychology, even psychology. Then you have got other things like all these gurus, false gurus, you can say this aura business. What else is there? Just now he was telling. Supernatural. Supernatural and undernatural and <laughs> <laughs> all these things, you know. All alternatives you can think of. Anything you can think of, all these 
things and the books and the lamas and the dhamas and everything. <laughs> Even people who go uh, sort of adhere to a church too much or adhere to Catholicism, okay, because they are not connected with God and they are unauthorized. But if you have been to a real guru, then immediately I will know. You won't have this problem and ascent will be very fast if you have been to real guru. But how many are real these days? In the market only those who are marketing are there, isn't it? In the market only the buyers and the shopkeepers. It's a marketplace now. So the real gurus are not to be seen. There are, of course I know there are many real gurus also. But wherever they are, they are not in the market. I am the only person fighting them and telling them off, you see. None of them are willing to come down or to concede to anything. They said, these human beings are hopeless. They said, twelve years you work for them, then we'll come down. They want me alone to fight the whole thing. Doesn't matter. So now it's a marketplace in which there are buyers and there are simple, naive customers. They just put such absurd things like, somebody says, all right, I want to sell a big palace with this and that and all that. Only you have to deposit two thousand pounds. All right. People will be quite willing to do, oh, what a bargain, let's pay two thousand. And the palace may belong to the queen. If you go there and ask them which, which palace you want to say, that this is the palace and that belongs to the queen, you say. This is unauthorized. Unauthorized people who have nothing to do with God, who claim that they have something to do with God, is false. And that's why they catch on this finger. And what do they do? They use all these techniques. These techniques are called in Sanskrit language as avidya. Avidya means non-knowledge. You can say that is not knowledge, something anti-knowledge, anti-God. This is anti-God. So for that the mantra is Shuddha Vidya, means the pure technique. Is the mantra. Pure technique is the mantra. Pure means the one that comes from the Spirit. Mm. 